Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and uh, I don't know if you can tell what is happening today by the looks of this mess but uh, what I'm doing today is a using all of my blue art supplies challenge thing in one piece only. Uh, so I've seen Drawing With Waffles do this a lot with um, different colors and I always enjoy watching her process and how she tackles these challenges. So I wanted to see if I could uh, step up to the challenge and try it on myself. I'm using some watercolor paper today because we've got a huge range of media as you can see here. We've got gouache, watercolor, inks, uh, markers. It's a big old mess and I didn't realize how many uh, blue art supplies I had until I got all of these out. And it's also quite fitting that the watercolor pad that I've got today from Daylor and Rowney is also blue. <laughs> so everything is making sense today. Let's get right on into it. So I wanted to start off easy with blue because uh, I, I think there's a lot of scope for what blue can do and also uh, I have a lot of like light blue art supplies that I can use to build up and start off uh, from very light wash, I guess you could call it. I also think that's a good moment right now to talk to you guys about uh, today's sponsors. This video is brought to you by Squarespace and I wanted to thank them very, very much for the spawn again, and uh, as well as helping me out with my new website, which is also my new shop. So as many of you know, Ticktail is closing down very soon. So uh, I'm merging my shop over to Squarespace and uh, a little bit more on that later. And I've actually sort of decided that I want to do a landscape thing now. You'll see why I've changed it into a landscape. It really does suit the idea that I've had now. Eee, come on, work with me, buddy. Also, if you're wondering where this washi tape is from, it's from this uh, one seller on Amazon that I love getting my washi tapes from. And I'll link it in the description, obviously. Uh, but it, they've got like, honestly, such gorgeous washi tapes and they're quite cheap, actually. So uh, yeah, I always get questions about where I get my washi tape and it's mostly from there. So now that this is all set up, I am using these two little boys to sketch. This is the color rays. Uh, Prismacolor color is in blue and then I'm also going to use my uh, mechanical pencil that's got some blue lead in it. I wanted to have like some sort of whale situation happening like over here and then having this is like the ocean right there. I don't know if I should have that thing over there or not but then there's definitely like a girl just kind of like there. Well, that's too big to be a girl uh, next to that whale. Yeah, she's kind of like doing this situation. She's got huge hair. She's probably some sort of mermaid. So I'm just gonna look up a reference from for a whale. Okay, I found a good whale boy. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm just gonna sketch him out. So now I'm going to switch over to, I just look at the camera and I can realize now that you guys can't see anything with this pen. So, <laughs> with this pencil, I mean. So we're gonna go over to this one now and just kind of sketch it out a little bit better. And oh, he looks so sad all of a sudden, Jesus. Oh no. His other fan and he's got all these thingies happening here, like, Oh, whales do, I guess. And he's got a bunch of like things stuck to the bottom of him. And that's just his his shooting water out of hole. <laughs> that's the specific naming, guys. I, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe some sort of coral reef down there to counteract all this empty space. This is also quite ironic that I'm drawing this scene because I'm like really scared of the ocean. It's like one of my biggest fears, guys. So it's very interesting that, I, that I've chosen to draw this sort of theme here. There's a bunch of those like spongies over here and uh, maybe a starfish. <gasps> yeah, definitely starfish. Uh, I think I'm going to start off with some watercolors to kind of just do like a nice wash and set down the different things so ah and now i just need to go fill up these with some water so one momento 
Okay, so I am starting off with these Art and Fly watercolor paints, and uh, I basically just took out all the bluish ones from the uh, pan pan set that I have, which is like I think twenty four or something, and I'm gonna whack out this little mixing thing. <laughs> I know words, guys. That's a nice blue. Okay, so that one's that one, and I want to see which ones are more saturated, which ones I can layer better. Okay, oh, I like this blue. It's very nice. Okay, oh, I've already got a drop. No, no. Okay, so let's start off with maybe the lightest one that I have and just sort of give everything a bit of a wash. Okay. Also, I probably should be using a larger brush, but because I, like, hate myself, I'm, like, not. This is, I think, the easy part, because there's not much I can go wrong with right now. It's just, just coloring in, basically. I think I'm gonna do, use, like, one of these, like, more saturated colors for the sky up there. I feel like that's gonna make a nice distinction between this, like, palish blue and a more greenish blue from the sea i don't know we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see <laughs> so while i'm coloring all of this in i feel like it's a good opportunity for me to actually talk to you guys about something uh valuable uh squarespace i have become a huge fan of squarespace more than i was before actually because of this whole tic situation tea that's been going on uh, i have been designing my new shop on squarespace uh and it's been like literally the easiest way that I could ever merge uh, into my, a new shop. Like I, I looked at some very different um, retailers and online e-shops and honestly Squarespace, uh, even though it, it, you have to pay, not a lot actually might I add, it's quite, it's got the best price out there because I compared a lot of prices and Squarespace still beats the odds uh, and also all of their help that they give you in designing a shop. I just got drawn to Squarespace just because of how easy it is to decorate everything and they give you so many options to decorate your shop and everything and it's actually uh, got amazing customer service as well if you do find yourself having any troubles. So if you'd like to have a go at it yourself, start your free trial at squarespace.com and when you're ready to go and start your actual shop and website, head over to squarespace.com slash pipa to get 10% off your first purchase isn't that a deals guys deals so yeah that's that's pretty much it that I wanted to show you guys about Squarespace uh, they're really sick uh, if you want to go have a look at my new shop go right ahead I'm very very proud of it I think it looks very cute so and I'm gonna kind of like add some over here so after that I'm gonna go in with these uh, Windsor & Newton watercolors they're also different hues which is very lucky for me from the ones in my art and fly set I might give this little Good boy, just a little bit of a wash as well. There we go. With the watercolors done, I kind of want to go in with like maybe brush pens, the lightest brush pens that I have. Ooh, that's a nice blue actually. It's very different from what we've had so far. So I'm gonna go with this. Uh, now it looks like she's got some sort of shower cap on. That looks interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that was on my Tombow uh, dual brush pen. And I think I'm gonna go in with another Tombow dual brush pen right now because I have a lot of pastel Tomo Duo brush pens, as you probably saw in my pen collection video, so I'm gonna make use of those. I also think this challenge is really good because it's forcing me to actually use a range of materials, because normally when I, I draw or paint something, it's I normally stay within the vicinities of what I start using, like I don't really change throughout the project or the drawing, so I feel like this is gonna, it's, it's changing my, my way of, of, of working, which is really good. Let me see if I can do something here with a jellyfish. That'll look cool, right? I'm gonna give some these jellyfish a little bit of a purpley undertone, maybe. maybe. Some fish over here. I'm gonna go in with pencil for her skin, mostly, because uh, I can control how light that goes, and I don't want to ruin her skin immediately with shadowing and stuff. Uh, I'm actually gonna go in with this Tombow again, just in here. I'm using my Crayola super tip right now i'm just gonna kind of go in her hair uh because i'm using these more saturated blues on her i'm gonna just quickly go into these right now give her hair more of a, a bit of a shape that's that's some hair right that's hair i'm going in with my zebra my liner 
uh, blue as well. It's basically a lighter version of that uh, one, but it's got like a, a thinner tip. And also it's got like a chisel. I'm gonna make use of that. I might go in with another, with a pencil actually, and shade in this, this good boy over here. Shall we name him something? Shall we, shall we name, mm, let me think. Walter? I like Walter. Walter's a good whale name, right? I also maybe want to keep his top a little bit lighter because of the light coming in from the above the sea, maybe. I'm just giving her hair some details as well since I've got um, my pencil out. I might go in for a different color because this is kind of matching the whale too much. I'm going to go in with a more saturated blue for her hair. There we go. Uh, these pencils that I'm using, they're all my uh, favorite Castel Polychromos. So I'm going to try going in with my Koi Sakura uh, coloring brush pen and see what we can do here. It's it's very pretty. It's a very pretty color. It's like, a, again, a grayish blue color and I think it's gonna work nicely on Walter here yes I've decided that that is his name now I don't want to go in too much with the pens because I, I'm afraid they're gonna start like, like bleeding into each other and it's gonna be a mess it's like mm, we don't want that Walter's a good boy there we go <gasps> this is a good boy actually I'm gonna go crazy I'm gonna use my Sakura brush pen to color in all of Walter there we go he's gonna be just he's like mainly the focus of the piece so I'm gonna I'm gonna totally give him this freedom to be himself next up I'm trying to go use this uh, this fine liner um, oh it's kind of just grayed out this all of this I'm just gonna use it to shadow in the jellyfish actually I might go in with this for some of the corals I'm gonna go in with this Tombow now I'm gonna add color to some of these spongies over here and the corals these jellyfish are absolutely massive I'm realizing now like next to this whale oh but we realized okay we did establish that Walter is a baby whale I'm gonna keep most of my fine tip things uh, closer to the end so I can actually do some line work in there I'm gonna start just kind of adding a load of color so this is my pro marker Arctic blue I'm gonna add it over here I'm so thankful that I used watercolor paper because it would have gone very badly if I hadn't. Oh, maybe here on this jellyfish, it's missing some color. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here that I've got like a metallic blue color and I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it. Uh, so <laughs> that's gonna be very interesting. I might use it as like a little magic thing around her. Another uh, Crayola, it's a bit darker this time. It's very grayish, I'm gonna use it for Walter. Okay, I might use it also to darken these jellies over here. Hmm, let's go in with another Crayola. Let's uh, try and, I'm gonna add some color to these, some different colors to their tentacles or whatever. And because it's very saturated, I'm gonna use it to add some um, shadows to this hair mess that I've been avoiding. <laughs> Also, I think I'm gonna have to go back in with my watercolors and add some more washes over here because it's starting to just look plain white and I want it to be bluer. So I think I'm gonna go in with that now, actually. Oh, it'd be nice if we could also have like some sort of like a, a white halo coming down here. That'd be cute, right? So next up, I'm gonna go in with this. Pro marker and not exactly be sure what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> it's so scary when I start going in with a darker color because I'm like, I really don't want to mess this up, and there's no way of like being careful with them. Um, I might start doing this coral bit here, doing it a bit lighter at the top and making some sort of gradient. I'm gonna leave this here for now, like this, because I want to go in and add some. Okay, I need to go in with the, to the dark ones because it is always darker at the top like this, I just realized, in the ocean. So it always kind of looks a bit darker just below the surface. Okay, let's go in with this uh, Art and Fly dual tip fine liner and brush pen. Uh, let's go in to the hair maybe. 
since it's got a brush tip, I'm gonna use it to my advantage. <laughs> this is quite dark, actually. I'm gonna go in with a fine liner. Try and add some thinner lines here and there. You know? Oh, it's starting to look quite cute. Okay, that's a face a bit, actually. I think I managed to do some sort of weird detailing in there. And it's a Sharpie because it is quite a light color. I'm gonna, oh, actually, I'm gonna maybe use it for the corals here because those corals are blending in a bit way too much with each other. There we go. That's it for the Sharpie. I don't wanna overuse it. Uh, let's go in with this scribblicious pen. Ooh, that's still wet. Kind of just adding some fish with it. I need to start working on Walter a little bit, huh? We've been neglecting Walter for a bit. It kind of looks like a koi fish situation as well. It's looking very nice. So far, so good. Um, what am I going to do to that sky up there? That is my question. I might go in with my gouache actually later. Because I've got a light gouache. I might go in and work on the sky with that. I'm adding some colors in with this um, mild liner. It's kind of grayish toned. Uh, like the, probably the gray, the grayest that I've got here, I think. What are they even called in English? These things that stick to the bottom of whales. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go suck it up and do the metallic marker. Since I'm here, ooh, it's quite dark actually without the metallicness of it. Mm. Okay, uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna use this maybe for the side of the jellyfish. That would look cool, right? Just over here, maybe add some spots to them. That look cute. I'm pretty sure jellyfish don't have spots, but yeah, these do. <laughs> I'm going in with this favorite Castel Polychromo to work on this little fish down here. And turns out they're exactly the same color, so that did nothing. So, uh, Walter, your turn it is. Basically using this to add just some shadings to the faintest uh, lines just here in the background. And now I'm gonna go in with uh, the Scribblicious pen to just lay down the colors. Oh, this is a bit purpley actually. That's interesting. Uh, and since it's a bit purpley, I guess I'm gonna use it to my advantage and add some more purpley fish over here. Another Art and Fly brush pen and fine liner. I'm kind of starting to try and work a, a gradient here on this coral. I'm gonna go in with this gel pen actually and see what I can do with her hair and her in general because she's looking a bit like a mess right now and I'm gonna try and just kind of give her an outline. Okay, we're starting to get to the final stretch here guys. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna use this uh, dual pen as well here. We're kind of getting into all the indigos and dark blues now. And I'm gonna also use it to kind of work on his eye a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at that good boy! I'm also, as you can see, kind of using this to add some sort of line art to this piece a little bit. It's getting to the area where I can actually you do that. And mm. We're going into pencils now to add a bit more of a gradient to these corners. So just kind of strengthen that vignette a bit, I guess. I might give her some like little bubbles coming up like this. I completely forgot about the bubbles. Uh, are we out of fine liners? Did I use up all my fine liners already? Oh, that's a mess. I'm gonna keep this gel pen over here so I can use it as a, a an outline thing. Let's go in with this brush marker and actually do this final gradient here. I think this is one of the darkest colors that I have. Sharpie. It's a very dark sharpie as well. Gonna darken this gradient as well over here since we're going with this boy. And I'm gonna use this scribblicious pen to add some more harsher shades to our, our good boy over here. I'm kind of still trying to figure out what my next move with this hair is. Ah! Okay. Using this Crayola to kind of darken Walter over here. It's fine. She's wearing some sort of bikini and a top, so she's not completely naked. There we go. She's wearing a sort of a bikini 
happening over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna start zooming in a little bit so you can actually start seeing what I'm doing. I'm just gonna use this gel pen to add these final details to Walter's tummy. Using this brush pen, it's like really dark this color as well. It's a very pretty color. I'm gonna be using it to just give in those really harsh shadows everywhere. And also it acts as a, a liner as well because it's, it's a brush pen. Uh, just deepening this over here, adding some shadows. I'm so nervous right now doing this, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm like basically shaking. And there we go. Okay. Oh, I can breathe again. And now we've got uh, the last couple of things, which are inks and uh, gouache. So I'm using this kind of palish blue for the sky up here and these are very opaque because it's gouache and I'm actually gonna eh, use this brush brush pen because it's got water in it to kind of help dilute it. Actually, I think something that would look really nice is using a darker color to make it look like a night sky up there. That'd be cool, let's do that. And then this could be like the, the moon. Oh my God, yes, let's do that. It's very nerve wracking when you don't really know anything about the under the sea because I'm so scared of- I'm literally even scared of watching documentaries about it. That's how scared I am, guys. That's- I'm- I'm, a, I'm such a wimp. I'm gonna use these to also kind of help me out with this gradient that I messed up. Okay. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine, guys. I'm gonna use this ink here. It's the Winsor & Newton uh, ink set. Also the gouache I was using was the Arteza gouache. This uh, blue is absolutely gorgeous. It's the um, cobalt blue from Winsor & Newton. It's a beautiful ink and it's very saturated. I'm gonna now use those two wash from Arteza to do the night sky. I feel like that also balances out really nicely with the darkness from down here. I think I feel like I do feel like I need to add something down over there though. Like I really don't know. I'm using this one to kind of just darken the sky a bit because it's uh, a darker shade. I'm actually going to use this ink now to this gouache actually to just add a bit of a coral down here as well. I'm going to let that dry a bit and I'm going to go use the my last blue art supply which is this uh bombay teal india ink and it's it's not exactly blue but it's also not green it's like a teal color and it's closer to blue so that's why i picked it for this I tried to fix it but uh... all right uh, oh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys a close-up of this actually because you deserve a close-up of this Mmm, this is the most satisfying part by far. Mmm, nice. I'm gonna grab my Signo white gel pen, which is currently my favorite to add details. This, uh, this one from Uniball, it's currently my favorite. And now I'm just gonna add some stars up in here. I'm kind of just going in and adding highlights everywhere now because I feel like that's really like what gets uh, the piece looking finished, I guess. And uh, while I just add these last little details, I wanted to say a very big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in buying like actually a print of this because this looks looking really nice and I didn't expect it to, to turn out this pretty. I might I might actually sell this as a print. What you guys think? Let me know. Cool guys, I think that's it. I think I managed to, to, to really nail this challenge. Uh, I managed to use up all of my materials, which is a shocker considering how many I had. Let me know again if you wanted to see this as a print. It, I think it looks really, really cute. Thank you again so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Uh, thank you very, very much. And again, I will leave the links to my shop and my Squarespace website down there if you want to go check it out and the link for 10% off for your own website. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! -bye.